Hey, superstars, it's your best friend Scott, and I'm wearing a weird hat today. Um, this is my very late December recap. Not a ton to go over today. I do have a VR for Old Sarge Collects. I've got a uh, random shout out and uh, a contest win, and I still have some Christmas gifts to show off. So let's do it. This is a VR from my best friend Dan at Old Sarge Collects, who is celebrating 200 well-earned subs, and he wants to see post-playing days cards of Hall of Famers. I thought about showing off some of my customs, but that may be too self-serving, so I think I'll go with some of my favorite pitchers. We'll start with Cy Young. Here is my 73 tops, a 2001 Fleer Greats, that's a neat card, and a 2010 Tops Update short print. I feel like I may need to seek out some better Cy Young cards, but uh, here's a cool press photo of Cy at his 80th birthday party, I think, with Bill Veck. Next, I've got some Addy Joss. Here is a TriStar Obach number to five. Goodwin Champions, a Goodwin Champions Mini, and another Goodwin Champions Magician back number to nine. And most of those were gifts from Zane Savage. Next up, I've got some Satchel Page. Here is a commemorative patch deal courtesy of Picker Jim. And a couple of relics from Georgia Diamond Yard Sports Cards. Here's an Upper Deck Sweet Spot. And this National Treasures is number to 25. And finally, I got some Bob Feller action. One of my favorite cards ever is this uh, 67 Venezuelan. And here's a 67 Laughlin that I got from Don. This stadium club is nothing special really, but I love that photo. And here's that same photo on this 2005 Donruss Studio Portraits, number 25. And here's a signed 2000 Fleer Greats of the Game. And finally, I've got a signed 1994 Caterpillar card with Bob on a tractor, because who doesn't love Bob Feller on a tractor, right? So there you go, Dan. Hope you dig those. And congrats on well over 200 subs. This is a quick little shout out from my best friend Brent at Star Huddle 77, formerly Near Mint Musings. With the new year, he's been musing a little bit, see what I did there, in his last couple of videos about enjoying the collection that you currently have and how to sort of resist the urge to buy stuff for the sake of an endorphin buzz. Of course, he discusses this stuff way more eloquently than I could, but it really hits home with where I'm at with my collecting right now and definitely worth a look. So good stuff, Brent. My 49th ranked BFF, Tony Black, recently asked a trivia question in one of his videos, and I answered correctly because I'm super smart, or I know how to look stuff up on the internet. But in any case, Tony sent me some stuff. This says, congrats, you knew Harry Doyle was in the Hall of Fame. Here is your prize pack. Hope it is everything you need. Go Cubs go, your bestie, Tony. Well, I was hoping for some tasty Italian beef, Tony, but I'm happy to settle for some card sleeves and some minor league cards. We got Joe Lamp. I love Lamp. Dylan Frias, John Kenzie Noel, this guy is Hugh Jungus, uh, George Valera, Angel Janeo, maybe, and Jorge Burgos. Thanks, Tony. These are really cool. I'm still getting Christmas cards. This one's from my bestie, The Hobbyist. It says, Scott, hope you had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, your BFFs, The Hobbyist family. Well, I certainly did. And nice, he pulled this Zach Plesak auto out of a Walmart blister pack. Zach's with the Angels now. He always seemed to have trouble controlling his emotions, but despite that, he could be a very good pitcher at times. Very cool. Thanks so much, Chris. This one's all the way from Japan from my best friends, Charlie and Yumi. They don't have a channel, but they're always super supportive. And what do we have here? Oh, nice. This looks like a Reds hat, but it's actually a Hiroshima Carp hat. I've adopted them as my favorite Japanese team. That is super cool. I will wear it proudly. Well, you already saw me wearing it, so I guess I wore it proudly, and I'll keep wearing it proudly. Thanks, Charlie and Yumi. I haven't been buying much lately, but I have some bad influences like my bestie Scott at Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Scott texted me an eBay listing with these cool 1959 Oklahoma Today cards. Here's Cal McLish and Dale Mitchell. They're super fun and they were super cheap, so Scott shouldn't feel too guilty. I never showed off what I got for Christmas from my family, so my butthead sister, she bought me this cool Cy Young print from Triple Play Design, so maybe she's not such a butthead after all. I love it. My buddy Dave, who has no interest in sports cards, was my secret Santa this year, and he hooked me up with some sweet packs, and he went through his childhood collection, and he gifted me all of his old Indians cards, and he sent a bunch of those out through the mail for autographs on my behalf. So we got back Jesse Orozco, Toby Hara, Tom Brennan, Brooke Jacoby, Bud Anderson, Scott Bales, and Raymond Claiborne so far. He says there's probably more coming, and I was really touched that he did that for me. That was really cool. 
my in-laws got in on the action too. They gifted me this really rad 1937 Gaudi wide pen Earl Averill, such a cool card. And then my son Milo, he made a little card stand for me and he's still trying to get me to like Pokemon cards. So he made me this custom basic energy card. And I love that he's trying. And then Mrs. Reindeer always spoils me. She bought me this Alvin Mormon autograph for my 97 World Series roster autograph project and Hank Majeski for the 1954 World Series team. She also picked up these Leonardo da Vinci cards. Those are really fun. And she bought me a T205 Neil Ball and a really nice dandy Al Rosen. And check this out, a Don Mossy model Nakona baseball mitt. My wife is the best wife out of all the wives. So that's it for now. I got to thank Dan at Old Sarge Collects for the fun VR, Tony, the hobbyist, and Charlie and Yumi for the fun prizes and gifts, and my family, of course, my butthead sister, my friend Dave, my in-laws, Milo, and Mrs. Reindeer. Don't forget to check out Brent's recent videos if you haven't seen them yet. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch. I'm plugging away on some projects, so hopefully I'll have some new art to share with you real soon.